I fucking did it this time. I know what you were thinking. You're thinking, Owen, we don't want to play in Santa Aquarium. Owen, we don't want to play for the king. Well, pull up your panties, because this next game is going to knock your fucking socks off. Holy shit, this game is sick. We got wizards. We got lizards. We got skeletons. We got lizard, wizard, skeletons. You want to be a dwarf that summons giant skeleton spiders? Do it. You want to be a cannibal elf that bonks people on the head with a giant fucking stick? You bet your ass you can. Maybe you're like, nah, Owen, I don't want to do either of those things. I just want to throw my loot at people and crush them to death. Well, slap my ass and call me Susan. You can do that too. This game has it all. You can find this game on PS4, Xbox, Switch, and PC. You can pick this guy up for 45 freedom dollars, but regularly goes on sale. Let's get to the review. But Mr. Pineapple Socks, if this game is as wonderful as you say it is, I don't want to see any spoilers. I'm only going to show you guys stuff from the first couple hours, so why don't you just relax, okay, Sally? This game really has it all, man. If you like RPGs, then hot damn, son, you need to grab this. Turn-based combat? Check. Advanced combat mechanics? Check. Diverse character customization through an advanced leveling system with an enormous skill-altering perk list? Check. You can start off as a solo player and play through the game just by your lonesome, or you could party up and control a group of people. But Owen, wouldn't having more players make the game easier? Wrong! Perk options in-game can give one or two character teams significant in-game advantages, such as faster skill growth and more turns in combat. Ice, poison, fire, oil, steam, water, blood, weird tentacle things, amongst other hazards litter the battlefield to either help aid you or lead you to your peril. Some doorknob up in your business calls him a ruckus. Eat that dickhead into some fire. That'll show him. A posy a goober standing in a pool of water. Zap them bees. Specking your character into some of the magic classes can help you become a master of the elements and control the battlefield. I know, I know. Maybe you don't want to be a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Maybe you don't like having to think too hard and just want to run around and smack people in the head with your big fucking axe. You can spec your character to be a warrior of the ages. Or maybe you want to be a sneaky little shit and teleport behind people for them sweet, sweet critical backstabs. Play however you want. You have endless choices in the character builds. Outside of combat, you can interact with NPCs in a lot of different ways. Dialogue with NPCs provide ways to do quests, trade, and learn new skills. Different choices can change the outcome of the game. Do you smash the guy who is being an arse to you in the face with your hammer? Or do you peacefully work out your differences like civilized people? Do you make friends with the nice blue lizard man? Or do you accidentally say something rude and have to murder him? So many choices. This game gives you nothing but choices, different ways to accomplish the same task. You could play through the game numerous times and have different playthroughs every time. This game is as close to Dungeons and Dragons a video game can be. My god, it is beautiful. <laughs> Graphically, this game is B-E-A beautiful, man. Wow! I love the artistic direction they went with this game. It has a good balance between realistic and fantasy. The user interface is really clean and easy to navigate. The amount of detail that went into some of the models is top-notch. Very impressive when compared to other similar games. Lots of isometric RPGs tend to skimp out on the model details, but this game looks just as good zoomed in as it does zoomed out. Due to the amount of crazy shit happening in combat at one time, from poison barrels exploding to the smoke and clouds and fire, the game doesn't feel visually overwhelming or distracting. The visual effects are top notch and Larian did an excellent job. I didn't notice any major frame drops playing on PC, but I have heard of that happening on console versions. That being said, as this is a turn based game, it would barely affect your experience. Ah, oh, there you are, <clears throat> husband. Would you please tell this very charming gaggle of not at all brat-like babes that I am by no accounts this loser woman, nor do I sing, in fact. I'm deathly, deathly allergical. To avoid having this get copyrighted, like they did to my fucking Morrowind videos, those sons of bitch. To avoid having this get copyrighted, I cut out the music. Trying to explain the soundtrack to this game using my simpleton speech would do it a big disservice. This game allows you to choose from four different instruments that augment the music you hear throughout your character's playthrough. I don't know of any other game that allows you to do that. 
It's atmospheric and beautiful, and fits the theme of the game perfectly. In combat, the music changes and complements the chaos happening on screen. NPCs are fully voiced, which is very impressive considering the amount of characters and dialogue options. Other effects like casting spells, combat, and even just sorting through the menus are all mixed very well. Holy shit, I love this game, man! Considering everything I just said, I'm gonna have to slap a big old 10 out of 10 on this bad boy. This game is a fucking masterpiece. If you don't want to run out and buy this shit right now after this review, then you seriously need to wake up, man. WAKE UP, SLEEPYHEAD! <laughs> Damn, this game got me all sweaty just thinking about it. I hope you guys liked my review of Divinity Original Sin 2. If you guys want to see more of this type of stuff in the future, like and subscribe, you schmucks. I also stream on Twitch Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and sometimes Saturdays if you're lucky. So tune in to chat and watch some gaming. I love you guys. Stay safe. And remember, Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. Until next time. Come on. Yeah.